<laughs> is everything up in there? Yeah, I'm gonna get respond to my girlfriend real fast. Okay, flex on him, dude. So, instead of vlogging tonight, what we're gonna do is we're gonna react to a video um, that we found. Yeah, on the internet. Yeah, 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 one of those. Have you guys heard about Google? So we found a video called Meet the Man Who Is Sexually Attracted to Balloons. Now, we we didn't wanna watch the video. We wanna react to it here. But I think the title is, is good enough to the point where I, I don't think, what the hell? What is wrong with you? I'm hungry. <laughs> I don't care if you're hungry. You're eating peanut butter. That's disgusting. Stop. Let's please. get to the video. Let's get to the video. I like peanut butter. Okay. Okay. Well, guess what? Pa -pa 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 -pa. Play that shit. My name is Julius. I'm 62 years old, and I'm addicted to balloons. They're beautiful. They're soft. <laughs> Bro, we got five seconds in, and they had to show a clip of this man blowing into one of those things. Did you see how big that was? Well, the balloon was humongous, but did you hear the sound it made? Listen, bro. They're soft. <laughs> like, that is some nat sound to the max right there, bro. That is a, that's beautiful. Smooth, delicate. I have a connection with them. Intellectually, I know that balloons are not alive, but sometimes I wonder if it's my love for them that brings them to life. You, you see the way my man is looking at that balloon? <laughs> Look, dude, I've seen I've seen a lot of people saying stuff like like my strange addiction is staged. Like this stuff isn't real. Look at that man's face, dude. <laughs> you you can't, try you try to tell me that's up. not real. You can't make this up. This is too dumb to be made up. Dude. That is the face I made after I jerked off for the first time and I looked at my hand, okay? That is the exact face I made. Look, dude. This guy's a play. What's, Can we what's listen this, to what he said again? What's this guy's name, dude? Julius. Julius. My man Julius, dude. Okay. My first reaction was, wow, balloons. That's kind of strange. Julius has been addicted to balloons for over five decades. It started when he was a child as an innocent attraction to the shapes and colors. Now Julius has filled his home with over 50,000 balloons. <laughs> what? I mean, all the other stuff, sure, but the five decades? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Think about that, dude. Here's the thing. Have you ever like had a balloon in your house? Yes. <laughs> okay. Think about that. That thing. You know, you, you it might start. You know, like it's all cool. It's all right. Exactly. In a couple of days, dude. That thing's gonna be on the ground. It's gonna be sad, pathetic. F they said fifty thousand balloons. Fifty thousand. How many? How much money has he spent on just balloons? See, this does is he what, eats. Like he doesn't eat, does he? This is why people. This is what happens when people have too much money. I love all balloons, but I do have my favorites. I like the crystal clear, the, the transparent. You know, it's like a soap bubble, you know, you can see through it. I, I've got the long ones, the round ones, but my favorite is the spherical ones. Yeah, they're all round, dude. Why? I, I don't know. I, I guess it's like a guy that prefers blondes or brunettes, you know? It's not the same thing. That's not even close to the same thing, bro. <laughs> this man, dude, <laughs> this man just, he made the comparison from hair color, okay? To balloons. To putting his dick in a balloon, dude. <laughs> this is the jump my man's is making. No. No. Th somebody, you can't do that. You cannot make that jump. Julius is so addicted, he even has an entire room dedicated to balloons. This is my balloon sanctuary. I have uh, magenta, purple, yellow, blue, red, and clear. For me, it's the bigger the better. Of course, I can't get you know That's how an eight foot balloon in this room, so I, I settle for the five foot, uh, you know, weather balloon. I guess you can say it's more to love. I sleep in my balloon room every night. So if you sleep in there, isn't it just your bedroom? <laughs> Why is it your balloon room or your balloon sanctuary? Yeah, when you when you have to start calling your bedroom by something else, like by another attribute besides the bed, dude, you know you have a problem. So I'm gonna leave it at that. But Julius's obsession with balloons goes beyond shapes and colors. My love for balloons, it's also a sexual love. When I see a, a beautiful balloon, my heart starts to flutter and I get aroused. I'll take a 12 inch and I'll inflate it to 11 inch. That way it can take a lot of abuse. <laughs> Julius. 
Julius? <laughs> Julius, you're getting a little... <sighs> I'm holding one, you know, hugging it. I'll kiss it. And it's like being in heaven. Oh my gosh. I like... Oh my... Oh no, dude. I mean, don't you like to hug and kiss the woman that you love? It's not the same thing. <laughs> There's lots of people out there that feel the same way as I do about balloons. But there's two groups uh, of the lunar group. You got the poppers that get aroused by popping balloons. And you got your non-poppers. <laughs> Julius's addiction to balloons started when he was hospitalized at just four years old. My mother come to visit one time and she gave me a a uh, real nice blue balloon. But that night, the nurse grabbed it and I heard the balloon pop. So after she left, I just cried myself to sleep. Since then. <laughs> so, so you're telling me, you're telling me this is because of trauma? That's the whitest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> the sound of a balloon popping devastates Julius, and he even rescues balloons he believes to be in danger. Oh, we need to pull up on his <laughs> Hundreds of them, and we could just pop the shit out of them. But Julius doesn't share his extreme love for balloons with many people. The only people that know him is my family. My wife thinks it's strange. No! What? No! What? No! <laughs> no! We no. are halfway through this video, and they fail to mention that he has a no. wife. No. At, at what point, dude? At what? Okay. At what point you might love somebody? All right. Like, I, I, I love you, okay? Yeah, yeah, Like, I get that, you know, unconditionally, right? Well, okay, one condition. If I come back here, dude, and I find you balls deep in a balloon, okay? <laughs> we're gonna have a conversation. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> right. The fact that he feels like he has to keep it a secret uh, definitely points to that there is a, a, a problem. That's what points to a problem. <laughs> Clearly. That, that is what points to a problem. Today, his nephew, who's also an addiction counselor, wants to confront the issue and convince Julius to see a therapist. I've heard through the family a little talk about your balloons, uh -huh. about your balloon room. So what kind of questions do you have? What do you get out of your balloons emotionally? When I inflate them, it seems like they come to life for me. Really? Yeah. I heard that there was a some physical attachment to these balloons, maybe sexually. There's sexual overtones to it. Really? Yeah. You ever think that maybe there's something wrong? Nope. You know, nice. Nothing. <laughs> ever think that there's something wrong? You ever walk home, look at your 50,000 balloons full of your nut, and think that, gee, how did my life get like this? So how long have you been doing? How many years altogether do you have collecting these balloons? Oh, collecting them, I started when I was about eight. So you're 62 now, so that's what? 40? 40, 40 years? years? No, it's not. Do you know what eight plus 40 is? It's 48, not 62, but good try. Is it, does it cost a lot of money doing this? No, I don't think so. Are you serious? A little well, no, yeah, no. <laughs> he, he gets that like high note, he's like. Mm. Okay, unbelievable. So uh, l let's wrap this up, dude. Let's put a little bow on this, you know, let's tie this up like a nice little balloon. You know what I'm saying? I get that, you know, bro, be into what you're into. You know what I mean? Don't let don't let us stop you from being into what you're into. Just look at yourself, you know, every now and then. You know, and you know, when when you start having balloons for, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 years, and you start having 50,000 balloons in your house or something, you don't like identify your house, your bedroom by the bed, you call it the <laughs> balloon right. room. Like it that at, at some point you have to be a person that takes like, a step back, like understands yeah. when <laughs> there's a freaking issue. I don't understand. It, so yeah, until next time.